Last week for my Greener Demeanor 52 week challenge, I put out my complete guide to sunscreens. What we're looking for in a sunscreen, what's healthy in a sunscreen, what's not so healthy in a sunscreen, and that's for both us and the environment. This week I want to give you my reviews of 23 different eco-friendly sunscreens that I tried out. Which ones worked, which ones didn't work, which ones were easy to use or not, which ones didn't really have those eco-friendly ingredients that we're looking for, and overall just to look at the companies that they come from. Overall, some of the things I learned while doing research for the last videos was that we are looking for a broad spectrum protection sunscreen, one with an SPF of between 30 and 50, a non-nanoparticle formula, one that's water resistant or sweat resistant, and I've decided not to use any more of the spray-on sunscreens. Some of the bonus points a sunscreen would get from me is if it's affordable, available, if it's easy to rub in and doesn't leave like a really nasty white residue, if it has a decent smell to it, if the packaging is recyclable or reusable, and if it's from a decently good company. I also did a lot of ingredients reading on the backs of the labels of those sunscreens to try and filter out what is safe for coral reefs or not. And remember, covering up and avoiding the sun is always gonna be your best bet, but for the times when you do need sunscreen, here are my reviews of 23 eco-friendly sunscreens. If you have an eco-friendly sunscreen that you love using or hate using, leave that in the comments below. For all my reviews, I'm gonna base things on a three-star rating system. Zero stars is I hate it or it's not for me and I will not be buying it again. One star is I dislike it, it's not something I'm gonna seek out to buy but I'll use it if I have to. Two stars is my like, neutral to good, like I like it and I'll buy it again if it's what's there. And three stars is I love this product and I will seek it out to buy it again. All right, I'm gonna get out my big box of sunscreens that I've tried over the last few years that I saved um, the containers for. So I have some of them that I've tried out. I don't have every single one of them, but I tried to save some of them so I could show you like when I rub them in what it looks like or like what kind of residues are left. And we're gonna start with the ones that I don't really like, the zero stars and the one stars. And I'll just go real quick through those ones because I don't recommend them. So I don't really want you to use those ones. But I wanna show you the ones that I don't like because sometimes that's just as important as the ones that you do like. All right, so just as a blanket statement, like I said earlier, I'm not gonna be using the spray-on sunscreens anymore um, due to some of the health issues that could potentially be surrounding those. I know just last week, a whole bunch of Johnson & Johnson spray-on sunscreens were recalled um, because of benzene being found in those. So in general, even decided this before that, but in general, I'm not gonna be using a spray-on sunscreen. Uh, very much anymore. This is the All Good spray on sunscreen. It's a zinc oxide non nanoparticle sunscreen and it, it works fine. Um, it is reef friendly, but it stains everything surrounding where you spray it on. So, like the bottom of my car or my flip flops when you just spray it over your feet. So, in general, I just don't want stains all over things. And just since it is a spray on sunscreen, I won't be using one of those anymore. All right, some of the other ones that I didn't really love using, um, and this one might be a surprise because this is toted as like a super eco-friendly sunscreen. I hate using the Badger sunscreen. Um, I just don't like the residue that it leaves. This one is the, the Baby One, the SPF 30 Natural Mineral Sunscreen Cream. Um, it's just for the ease of use of rubbing it in because it is very, very hard to rub it in. And the company is great, it just isn't something that I enjoy using. And you do want your sunscreen to be something that you are gonna use because if you're buying stuff that you're not gonna use, that's a waste of that sunscreen and you're not getting the sun protection that you need. So I'm looking for stuff that I am gonna want to use and this one is not it. So the Badger baby sunscreen is out. The other one I didn't like is the Pacifica um, Mineral Face Shade Coconut Probiotic one. It's supposed to have a little bit of a tint to it so it's not as white, but I just thought it smelled weird and I didn't like how it rubbed in, I didn't like how it felt on my face. Um, so I don't like that one either. Normally I like Pacifica stuff, but that one isn't out for me too. Some other sunscreens that were on my zero to one star list were the Neutrogena Pure and Free Sunscreen, SPF 50. I can't say I remember a whole lot about this one except that I wrote down a zero, which means I'll probably never buy it again. Um, it's owned by Johnson & Johnson, so that's a huge big company that has tons of other products. 
just not one that I really liked apparently. Another one I didn't really like very well because of what was in it is the Banana Boat Sport sunscreen, SPF 30. It, it works really well. Um, it doesn't have any oxybenzone or octinosate in it, but it's full of avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene, so it's really a no-go um, as far as coral reef safety goes. The Reef Safe Sunscreen from Silver Falls Sustainability with the SPF of 25. I like the Silver Falls Sustainability Company as a whole. They specialize in plastic-free personal care, but just didn't like the sunscreen. And the Australian Gold Botanical Mineral Lotion. Mm, just really didn't like it, not the sunscreen for me, and it doesn't really seem like the company has any like overwhelming evidence that they're doing good things. All right, next is my two star rating sunscreens, the neutral to, yeah, I like it type of sunscreens. Um, we'll start out with the Sun Bum slash Baby Bum line. So that's one that's really readily available at Target. Um, so anyone has access to getting all sorts of their products. This one's active ingredients is the zinc oxide 20% from non nanoparticles. Plant based, hypoallergenic. Most of their products are vegan. Um, some of them contain beeswax or honey. They claim cruelty free, but they are not certified, so that would have to be something I'd look into more. They're gluten free and they come out of Cocoa Beach in Florida. They also rank highly as a two on environmental working group ratings. I did try out the Baby Bum Face Stick. It's an SPF 15. And while it seems like a big waste of um, packaging because it's so small, it's literally like this small, it does fit in women's jean shorts pockets. So there is a benefit to having some of these sunscreens in smaller containers where you can put it in your pocket so that you actually will use it when you need to reapply every two hours uh, when you're on the go. So that one is nice and handy, same company. They also have a line of lip balm that has SPF in it. So there's lots and lots of different flavors with those. And I'll admit I have like five different flavors of them floating around my purses somewhere. Really good flavors. Uh, there are ingredients in those that aren't technically reef safe though. So not like glaringly bad but they do have some of those ingredients that aren't totally reef safe. We have a local company here in the Twin Cities called The Healing Hippie, and they make a line of, um, they claim to be cruelty free, paraben free, gluten free, GMO free. Um, so this is a local one for me, and I gave them two stars because it's an easy to use sunscreen. Um, not my very favorite, but it worked, easy to use. Another widely available sunscreen that I tried out is the Banana Boat Simply Protect for Kids. And while not all their sunscreens are reef safe, this is definitely the most affordable one out of the ones that I tried out. And the last of our two star sunscreens are the Attitude Natural Care Mineral Face Stick and Baby and the Kids. So really, they're the same thing. I mean, at least as ingredients wise, they have the exact same thing in there. So go marketing, one is for babies, one's for adults. <laughs> um, but the kids actually like using these because they can draw it on themselves and it's easy for me to be like, here, you start this and then I'll rub it in later. So the kids like using it. They're fragrance free, hypoallergenic. They have non-nano zinc oxide particles as their active ingredient. They are cruelty free, vegan, eco logo certified and they rank highly as a number one on environmental working group. They are also recommended by ethicalconsumer.org with a score of a 13 out of 20, which is high for their list of sunscreens. This is a product out of Canada. All right, now for my three star top recommended picks. As far as space sunscreen goes, these are the two that I tried that I gave both three stars to. And this is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating SPF Day Cream with SPF 30. And that is the more expensive one. And then you have the Michelle Dermaceutical Sun Shield Unscented SPF 28. That one's a little bit more budget friendly. Um, they both rubbed on pretty nicely on my face. However, one of these, I don't remember which one it is, gets a little stingy when it's in your eyes. So if you get it in your eyes, um, it stings a little bit, but I don't remember which one it was. But they do work if you're not sweating or swimming. So these work really well as an everyday uh, face sunscreen. They're both vegan and certified as cruelty free. And the My Shell one is gluten free too. So these ones work pretty well as a daily face sunscreen. I don't have this package, but the beauty counter is one that you would order from a beauty counter consultant or off of their website. 
And in general, Beauty Counter is a great company that tries to put some transparency into where our products are coming from and the people that live in those areas and how they're being compensated for the products that we're getting out of their land. So responsible sourcing, responsible packaging for Beauty Counter overall. They have their never list of ingredients that they never put into any other products. And they also try to be transparent that like sometimes it is really hard to get products that are gonna be totally like ethical products too. They are really expensive as far as the sunscreens that I've tried out go. So you are paying for them to create a more ethical product for you. But their sample that I ended up getting was really nice. I was sad when it was gone, um, but great face sunscreen that I had tried out. One popular reef safe sunscreen right now is the Blue Lizard brand. And they call it Blue Lizard because the bottle does a fancy little trick. It turns blue when it hits the sunlight. So it can remind you that you have to reapply your sunscreen again, which is a good idea to, to have that reminder. So this one rubs in really great. I like using it. This is a born in Australia, but moved to the United States company. This is non nanoparticles. They don't test on animals. There's no gluten or BPA. This is a recyclable number two packaging. So that really bumps it up in my list because I can recycle this number two packaging versus some of the other ones that um, they don't say anything on it, or they might have a recycling symbol and then no number. So you don't know what resin identification number you're really recycling because you're usually limited um, in what you can recycle in those single sort. So a lot of these you can't recycle, you just have to throw them in the garbage, um, but this one is widely recyclable. Bear Republic sunscreen is one that I enjoy using. Um, it's cruelty free, gluten free, vegan, reef friendly, non-GMO. They have on their website a list of ingredients that they never use in their products, but Avo Benzene isn't one of those. So I hope that all their, their products are reef safe. Um, I can't guarantee that it is. This one is vanilla cocoa. It does smell nice, so it's easy to apply. It smells nice, and they do have it at Target. So <laughs> that's one that's really easily available too. Another one I really liked and gave three stars is the Think Sport brand. They're really widely across all their products, reef safe. So every one of the sunscreens that they're gonna sell is gonna be reef safe. Uh, they're Leaping Bunny certified. They pass the Whole Foods premium care requirements. They rank well on Environmental Working Group as a two. It's made in the US. It's gluten-free, BPA-free, vegan. I don't have one of the bottles on me so I couldn't see on the picture online um, if it is recyclable or not. The company does have a whole page on their website about thoughtful packaging, um, but it doesn't give specifics. So that would be something that I would wanna look up more. I think my top pick out of all the 23 sunscreens that I've tried out over the last couple years is the All Good brand sunscreen. This is the Sport Sunscreen SPF 30. It looks like all their sunscreens are committed to being reef safe. It's also one of the more affordable ones I tried, so it is available to more people that way. The big downfall though is, at least for this one, it's a number four, you can't recycle this one in your single sort recycling. So you're just gonna have to throw this one in the trash, but it looks like they do have different ways of packaging some of their other sunscreens online, so I'll have to try some of those in the future. Overall, this one has broad spectrum protection, water resistant for 80 minutes, its active ingredients are zinc oxide, 16% of non nanoparticles. It is a 1% and a B Corp company. Cruelty free, GMO free, gluten free, vegan. It's a women owned business. It's a solar powered factory that this stuff comes from. It ranks well as a two on Environmental Working Group. And this is a product of Morro Bay, California. So those are all the sunscreens that I've tried out over the last few years. If that was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend. If you're not already subscribed to A Greener Demeanor, go ahead and subscribe below and click that little bell. And that helps me bring you more review videos so that you don't have to try out 23 different sunscreens. All right, thanks for watching.